coordinates. Coordinates are kind of like directions. They're going to tell us where we can find something in a space. And we can sometimes talk in mathematics about a space. We often look at it as an XY graph. And we can also have this on maps with north and south, things like that. But in general, we'll learn about it from an XY graph here. So you'll notice that one way to remember that, what direction is which, is that we often say y to the sky. That the y-axis will point up to the sky. And it's always the vertical one. So it tells you how far up or how far down you are in that space. Up being the positive numbers and down being the negative numbers. The other axis is going to be x, and the x-axis is horizontal. It'll tell us how far to the right or how far to the left we are within this space. And again, the positive numbers here will be to the right, and the negative numbers will be to the left, just like a number line. That's kind of one way to visualize it. Is it's two number lines crossed at 90 degrees with each other. And we can give ourselves directions to figure out anywhere within this space or within this grid where we might find a point. So, as examples for this, if we're going to write out a coordinate to tell us some direction of where to go, we're going to put it in the brackets, and we always put the x coordinate first and then the y. So remember, x will tell us how far to the left or how far to the right we are. So as an example, let's try to find the coordinate negative 3, comma, 4, bracket. So I know that the negative 3 is going to tell me how far to the left or right I'm going to go. So negative 3 means I'm going to go along to the negative 3 here. I'll just pause for a minute. Not even putting a point, but just kind of thinking about pausing there. A little tiny idea just to think about being in that space. So I know I'm negative 3, so I'm going to the left 3 spots. And then looking at the next part of that coordinate, I need to see that I'm at 4. So that's vertically going up 4. So to get to this point, I know I need to go from 0, right here, 0, 0, to the left 3 to get to negative 3, and then I need to go up 4, and I can put in my point. So that tells me, again, that red point is going to be negative 3, so 3 to the left, and 4 up, positive 4. So now I know where it belongs in the space. If we try another one, like 5 and negative 6, here again, it's always going to be the x first, so we can think about going down the x-axis, or sorry, to the left or right on the x-axis here. So 5, positive 5 means we're going to go from 0 again, over to 5, and then now I need to look at the second part of the coordinate, the negative 6. The negative 6 is part of the y-coordinate, it's going to tell us to go up or down, and since it's negative, it's going to tell us to go down, so I'm going to go over to the right 5, and then I'm going to go down to negative 6. So again, I'm over to the right 5, and then I'm down negative 6, and that's where I put my point. We can also do it in the other orientation, where maybe I give you a point first. So you look on the space, and you see that there's a black point there, and you're wondering, okay, I need to tell somebody where that point is located. So we'll start with our double brackets, and I want to know where this point's located. So you have to keep in mind, think about left and right first, your x-coordinate first. So we need to fill in the x, and then we'll fill in the y. So here, from 0, where those two points those two axes cross. I am going to the left 8 spots. I'm down at negative 8. So I'm going to say negative 8 for my x-coordinate. And for my y, I notice I'm going down, so it's negative, and I go down to negative 3. Looking down here to see negative 3. And on the scale, you'll notice that they haven't put in all of the numbers. They haven't written in the negative 1, and the negative 3, and the negative 5. They've just done the even, so it doesn't get so cluttered, but if it's helpful for you, you could write those in if you wanted. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the negative direction, 
Same in the positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So sometimes we don't write them all out, but they'll be in there. Taking a look at another point, let's try this one up here. So if I was going to tell somebody where that point was located, again, I need to think about left and right first always. So how far do I need to go here from the center, or what we call the origin, where we always start? This is the origin, where we always start from. So from the origin, I need to go over to the right 5, a distance of 5. So that's a positive 5. And then I need to go up, so that's also going to be positive, and I need to go up all the way up to the 9. So I go to the right 5, and then up 9 gets me to the green point. And if I try another one as an example, this time I'll give you the coordinate and you've got to put it in. So let's try... how about 0, negative 4? Okay, so 0 is kind of a weird number to give me, but where is 0 on these number lines? It's right there in the middle. So this means, left and right, I'm not going to move anywhere. At 0, I'm right in the center. But now the next part of my coordinate needs to tell me about going up or down. And that negative 4 means I'm going to go down 4. So from 0 on x, I'm going to go down 4 and put in my big point. Just like so. So those are the coordinate axes. Remember, it's always y to the sky and x on the side. But we always have to write the x coordinate first and then the y. So always x, then y in brackets with a comma. Your negatives take you to the left and down, and your positives take you to the right and up.